Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. Uh, tonight is the first night of illustration of the ancestors, and uh, I am undoubtedly at this moment in Wisconsin celebrating uh, with other Corellians. However, I wanted to pre record some vlogs for the illustration weekend. And uh, tonight I wanted to continue our discussion of illustration uh, by discussing the subject of clergy standards. And this particular illustration is dedicated to that theme. And uh, I'm sure it will be a major topic of discussion and presentation uh, during the weekend. And uh, for me, the subject of clergy standards is one towards which I have mixed feelings because I was always taught to try to take people as I find them and not to be, um, not to be judgmental. Uh, I have always believed that there is a wide range of uh, personality types, a wide range of specialties, a wide range of talents and skills, uh, all of which are necessary to make a well-rounded tradition. Uh, I have never really liked the idea of, of cookie-cutter clergy, and uh, to me, my mission has always been to empower people. I have always believed inherently that all people are clergy, at least for themselves, uh, and for their families. Uh, although I do agree with Olivia Robertson that there are those who are recognized by their community as clergy. But uh, even there, my feeling has always been that in the pagan religions, our attitude toward and relationship with clergy is different from the Judeo-Christian religions. Uh, I have never liked the idea of people turning over all responsibility for their lives and their decisions to their clergy, and I do not like the idea of clergy trying to take responsibility for these things. Um, People who become pagan are usually trying to get away from that kind of clergy. Uh, and yet, it seems like our community has a desire to empower that kind of clergy. Uh, and I don't completely understand that. To me, I have always believed that anyone whom God has calls um, is called for a reason. And uh, again, I believe there's a wide variety uh, of talent, of skill, of personality types that are needed in our community. Uh, however, I do grant you also, there are some very important issues that must be discussed and dealt with in terms of clergy standards. And perhaps it is necessary for us to look at ways of narrowing what we consider clergy or revising what we consider clergy. Um, but it is inherently a very difficult subject um, when you consider that we begin from the point of view of a minority religion in a culture that is dominated by a different religion who has different attitudes. Uh, and trying to have a balance between our own point of view and the wider point of view is a difficult balance to strike, particularly when most of our own people have come from that other more dominant religion and often brought their ideas with them. Uh, I'm not quite sure where that's going to end. I'm not quite sure what uh, the next few months will bring in terms of how we define and empower clergy. Uh, but one thing I am sure of, and that is that the Corellian movement will always seek to empower people um, and encourage them to make their own decisions and to have control of their own lives. So that's my musing for this evening. And uh, until next time, may you blessed be.